Hello, this is Jonathan from Fubar Design, and I'm bringing you guys today in an unboxing video for Black Seas. This is the Royal Navy Starter Fleet. It comes with practically everything you know to start your Royal Navy fleet. It does not come with all of the instructions, pamphlets, and whatnot for the actual game itself. You still do need to get the uh, core book and then probably the Masters and Commander set for the extra dice and whatnot. But this will give you basically everything else you need. So one first rate. Three third rates, uh, six brigs, and then three frigates. Those third rates and the frigates all do come with some custom backplates and figureheads, as you guys will see. Uh, the first rate is the generic ship of the line one that you could normally get through the boxes online, and then same thing with the brigs. There also is the gunboat squadron, your cards, wakes, sails nice decal sheet for your flags and then some rigging and then the acetate rat lines so let's get to unboxing this not to damage anything. So right off the bat you guys can see this is going to have the uh, this is going to be the gunboat squadron and probably the resin hull so oh, this is the resin hull for the first rate. It's gonna have your masts and whatnot, all the pewter metals in there, along with the custom backplates. Here is your, looks pretty small, but this is a very considerable amount of rigging uh, for your ships. I believe it's about six, seven yards on there. You have all your cards right here, and then your sprues. So these top three ones right here are gonna be all of the third rates. As you can see, they're quite nice models. on the sides, you got all the nice guns. These do come with a couple different styles of backplates and figureheads, as is with the plastic, your little lifeboats, anchors and whatnot, all your masts. So you get three of those with each one of these. Next up here are going to be your, these are the, these are the Frigates, these are going to be your brigs over here. So you have your three frigate sprues and your three brig sprues. Little guys also do have a couple different backplates, four masts. You can see the sides there. Not a whole lot of flashing, which is quite nice on these plastic models. Makes it a lot easier to put them together. No cleaning up or anything like that. And then same thing with your tiny little brigs, deeply modeled. These of course don't have any back plates or figureheads on them unlike the other two. You got your nice instruction sheets for all of them, for your third rates, your frigates, your brigs, and I believe the first rate is practically the same, well it's Peter Metter. And then in here, if I can open this right. You have every single card you need. So you're gonna have your first rate, your three third rates, your six bricks, and then your frigates and gunboat. Here are some of the marker cards for your wakes, and then the health gauges. Here are nice little additions if you don't plan on basing your models. They do help quite nice in the game to get your sails and whatnot when playing. And then you do have your acetate rat lines. Oops, don't get stuck on there. Now one thing I do have to say about these little guys is that on some of the sprues and models and whatnot, so these rat lines usually go to these portions of the ships, little raised bars out, and those can get in the way of the mass and the uh, rigging lines. So sometimes you might have to move them to the left, to the right, cut out little corners and whatnot to make sure those all fit well. 
outside of that they are pretty neat fine and dandy they're pretty good for what they are and then of course you have up oh, there's your first rate instructions the sails for all of the ships so which one is this two three I'm going to assume, yep, so there's your first rate, your three third rates, and then you have three of these, and this is going to come with all of the sails you need for your brigs and frigates, as they are interchangeable sails. I think the only real difference between the first and light, uh, first and third, is they're ever so slightly larger. You can kind of see it by the paper and how these two main sails don't exactly line up with each other. And then you have your beautiful pennants and flags. So you can run some of them up as pirates, but you do get all of the, well, a nice amount of merchant flags, union jacks, nice pennants and whatnot, and there should be two, yep. It's double-sided, so you can do a lot with this, especially if you have other sets are resin printed ships, 3D printed ones. Nice to toss those onto them. And then for these, I believe they're not like normal decals. They're more so paper. So you do get them, you cut them on out, and you then use PVA glue and you kind of fold them around. Uh, you want to put them on the rat lines mainly, make them look as authentic as you can. And then the photos down here. So now that those are all out of the way. Let's open up this little thing right here. This should have the gunboat squadron inside of it. Oh, and it's got one of those name cards. So let's see who packed this for us today. Okay. So let's thank Morgan for packing this for me. And then, so here's the little gunboat squad. So you can see some flashing on it from the resin, but that's not too hard. It just comes right on off when you rub your finger over it. But it is a nice little mold. You have the wave crest, decent little ships. And then in here are going to be your metal sails and your backings. So each one of these backings and figureheads are paired with each other. So right here you have Colossus that shows up right. Then you have Nyad. So one of the frigates plates. Ajax, one of the third rates. You got some more. And then you have your little sails for your gunboat squadron. And down here you can certainly see the size difference between the frigate and the third rate back plates. And then in here is certainly the pride of your fleet, your first rate. So this is a very nice resin model, triple deck, it does have the generic back but it is very nicely detailed with the window panes, with your hole lines. This one does have some flashing at the bottom, but it's not too hard to deal with. You can see the deck, your hole drop in. And this was also packed by Morgan again. Thank you. One thing to watch out for, though, is with Peter Metal, you're going to want to be very careful with it. Uh, you don't want to be too rough when handling it, especially when you're taking it out of the bags, because sometimes with your shipping, transit, and all that fun stuff, they can be pretty beat up. So, here's some of the masks. See, you can tell on this one there's a slight bend to it. It's not too bad, nothing too hard to deal with. You can slightly push it back on out and straighten it out. Uh, I think lukewarm water or 
warmer water helps better with Peter compared to lukewarm for your metal prints, uh, your plastic sprues. Kind of see bent at the base, but it's all good. You have your four mass. Some of the lifeboats and custom figureheads. They have, uh, I believe, Neptune, more of a merchant, and then your normal curled front, like in the photo down here. You got your assortment of lifeboats, anchors, some of your flag bars and anchors. Yeah, this gives you everything you need to really start with a royal fleet. Uh, I know Black Seas is just now releasing Hold Fast, the supplement edition. Uh, it's another book that gives a lot more scenarios, uh, also brings in the introduction of the second rate and the smaller third rates. And then that also brings up, well, brings in some of the more smaller minor nations. Uh, that one has, I believe, the Dutch, Russians, and the Danes as well, compared to the British, French, Spanish, and Americans. Yeah, this is a quite nice model. Uh, We'll be doing some painting streams and another unboxing video of the Spanish starter fleet and hopefully a French one soon as well, if all things go well. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you guys all out. Thank you.